Well, this is the second episode of uh, IC Cup Adventure of Emerald Timer. Today, we have another Terran vs Protoss matchup in the map of Battle. Now, before the action picks up in this game, I want to discuss about the new maps. In particular, Terran vs Protoss matchup in this map. Well, the first thing about this map is that I do not know how to block my ramp. As accustomed to the good old days, I only know how to block on Lost Temple. Thus, I have been getting pwned by Seelots and Jigun's ramp break. And secondly, um, dropship plays were my favorite strategies in the good old days, and my style were instigated by many replays of Boxer and Nada and NTT. These are legends of dropship usage. They were so abusive that often leaves their Protoss opponents smashing their keyboards in rage. But why don't I see any strategies that incorporate dropship plates in the matchups of Terranotus Protoss anymore? Well, the only player I saw using a dropship in any recent stylage or polyt was Firebat Hero. Oh yeah, I'm talking about his legendary dropping of one tank, one vulture, and of course the hero marine. Well, I think this is because of the new maps. There are just not enough clips to abuse the dropships with. Well, in the good old days, I can turret up a Protoss cliff on Lost Temple faster than the Protoss can get their fourth Jaguna out. Well, enough of wondering about the new maps because Othello is a map that had enough cliff for me to abuse my dropship with. Well, right now, I'm just starting my gas and well, because of my inability to construct a sealer proof wall in most of the new maps, I have been losing many early game rushes. So I learned a new trick to deal with this early sealer. Now the first depot and my barracks is positioned in a way that only one marine can move through in between and the sealer cannot. Now this only works if your barracks is built to the left side of your supply depot. And uh, let's talk about the strategy I'm going to apply this game. Well, um, what I'm going to do is to do a simple, well, not really simple, but a variation of, of one factory, one starport dropship play. Now, I will make two tanks and then proceed to fake a V Gundam rush. So I will break out about four marines and some SCVs along with my two tanks and um, I will try to fake a Gundam rush um, when the Protoss sees the Marines and SCVs he will immediately think of one of these two strategies number one a, fa a two factory Gundam rush which is kind of kind of really effective with this one gay robot into fast expansion and it's also pretty hard on 2k robo fast expansion if the Terran can micro better than the Protoss. Now the second strategy the Protoss will consider is a FD fast expansion in which the Terran fix a Gundam push to try to make the Protoss cut probes and proceed to expand behind the spider mines. In my experience, the Protoss reaction versus the real Gundam push had always been trying to pick up marines and SCVs as the Jagoons move back into their base. Now, cutting probes in order to add shadows and sealots to range guns force. And on the other hand, take uh, against a fake Gundam push into a fast expansion, um, the Protoss will not cut probes, instead uh, they will expand twice to counter the Terran expansion. Now the strategy I'm trying to apply in this game is to abuse the fact that um, the Protoss will move back as soon as he see my force moves out. And um, he will never consider a dropship because he will only see or only think the possibility of a fast expansion or a Gundam rush. Well, I'm looking at a 2k range gun open, so which means he's playing pretty standard. And um, okay, this game is just like many other games where I do not have a good wall in, so the Protoss can um, attempt to break my ram. Uh, 
which uh, if I don't see it coming and I do not have SCP position on my ramp before he move in <laughs> just like this game right now he's gonna run in my ramp and start killing my tanks and yeah I lost a lot of games just like this um, it's a lot about scouting which I scouted him last in this game so it's uh, I couldn't really expect much from him if I don't see what he's doing. So uh, right now I'm just trying to survive. As you can see, my tank's been focused on, and luckily um, this guy um, has been losing dragoons unnecessary. So um, all his shits are going down, and I only lost one tank. So he lost about five guns, but he did see I only have one factory which suggests to him that I am doing a fast expansion so when I am actually move out with my um, with my strategy he will be thinking a um, FD Terran expansion instead of a Gundam push um, right now I am trying to get a few more marines so that I have a buffer uh, when my tanks move out and uh, he just picked off my scouting SCV but I've seen enough I see um, a lot of py uh, pylons in his base so I don't believe he is hiding any tags and also um, since he lost about 5 dragons I think I'm pretty safe to move out even though my attack timing has been delayed now what I'm trying to do right now is to move my army as far tore his base as possible while protecting my tanks and when my stuffs run near his choke what I'm going to do is to split up my tanks and my SCV and marine force my tanks will go toward the backside um, of the Protoss base which will be um, using a dropship to load them up and drop on the mineral line while my marines and SCV is distracting the Jaguns um, in the front so um, the Protoss will be seeing I have um, units engaging him in the front and he will not think anything about the dropship because he never see it coming as you can see he's um, hunting down my marines that are retrieving and he don't think he can actually see what's coming to him uh, why about now and as you can see um, let's see he doesn't have any Jaguns defending so uh, it's a free range for my tank and uh, hunting some probes is always good and if this were lost temple I will be dropping those tanks on the uh, cliff right after I finish with uh, blasting probes in his main well <coughs> well looking at the supply limits uh, let's see right now I'm at about 50 supply limits and I just started my expansion and but uh, one thing I want to know is that my turret is kind of late so if he was going DT or waiver uh, I would be hurt seriously and in this case um, he actually did went a waiver inside my base and um, my supply went from 53 to 49 so he actually killed 4 SCVs only with about uh, three scarabs if I count right and, and seriously uh, Burster has to do something about these duck scarabs I mean uh, this is one of the best unit in the game and is bugged half the time well why right now at this point of the game we are entering into mid game now the Terran vs Protoss mid game um, for Terran right now generally involves around securing a dirt expansion while trying to deny